Alright guys, yet another book review. I just I just read so many books about running, so I just want to share them all with you guys. So I just thought I'd do another book review straight away. Today we're going to review this one, Anatomy for Runners. Stay tuned. So as I said, I, I do read a lot of running books, both uh, the sort of philosophical type, the biography type, but uh, especially I enjoy the what can I say, the educational type, you know, learning about anatomy, physiology, exercise physiology, planning, scheduling of training, that sort of thing. I just reviewed this book, The Serious Runner's Handbook. Uh, I just made a review just now. Uh, so if you haven't seen that review, you might want to check it out. There's going to be a link in the description to that review as well as uh, here. I'll put a card there so you can check it out if you want after this video, obviously. Uh, today though, and now we're going to review this book, Anatomy for Runners. So I got this book when I was injured last year. About a year ago, I, I had some issues with my shins. I, I mean, it wasn't really shin splints. It was more like, I don't know. I, was even, I went even to the doctor to make sure it wasn't a stress fracture. And it wasn't. Uh, but it took me out for a few months. And during that time, like a lot of people, when you're injured, you sort of start searching for answers and you want to learn you know how can I prevent this from happening again uh, injury prevention and it's it's really extremely important uh, as a runner because the most important thing in terms of your training and your progress is consistency you know if you're out for a few weeks if you're out for a few months it has a huge impact on your training uh, so the best thing to do is to be conservative in training and to keep building that uh, to progress slowly and steadily and consistently and so in order to do that we need to take care of our bodies we need to take care not to get injured and that's what this book uh, is really good for I, I read it while being injured so I was highly motivated um, unlocking your athletic potential for health speed and injury prevention uh, by Jay Dickery I don't know how that's pronounced Dickery Dickery uh, excellent book, uh, excellent book. Basically what it is, is a book about your musculoskeletal system, basically. It, it deals with how your muscles work, how your tendons work, what are tendons anyway, what are muscles, um, ligaments, uh, how they heal, how they build, how they're affected by training, uh, and especially bad mechanics, problematic uh, running styles and how they, they're problematic and how you can fix a lot of these things by stretching, by strength training, by mobility work. Uh, let's read through the index here to give you an idea of some of the contents. Chapter 1, Run Like an Athlete. Chapter 2, Baby Biomechanics, The Physics of Running. Let's take a quick look at that, the physics of running. So here's a little bit of, of, of physics, basically. Just how, how compression works, how tension works, what's shear. A picture of a healthy collagen fibers, which is what is in, the, in a tendon, how they look in a micro uh, graph. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice book, uh, colorful and sort of interesting to read. A lot of cool um, figures and, uh, and stuff like that. Um, I love this kind of stuff, you know, analyzing your, uh, your gait, your biomechanics. This book helped me understand what tendons do. What is a tendon and what does it really do? And how does it, how can a tendon and its stiffness, for example, affect your running? You know, because there's such a thing as a too stiff of a tendon. Certainly there's such a thing. There's also such a thing as too flexible of a tendon. And how does the tendon interact with the muscle? And is the muscle stronger than the tendon or is the tendon stronger than the muscle? And how does that affect your uh, potential for injury and your potential for performance? And the other thing here, which was very interesting to me, was mobility. Because I realized that I do have an issue with my ankle mobility and that uh, is not necessarily good. I'll get into that in another video, the details of that. but. I learned a little bit about why it's important to have good mobility in certain areas of your legs and your body in general. And it talks a little bit about how to sort of work on that, uh, some exercises, um, and 
and uh, you know it talks about foam rolling a little bit and self massage and and posture as well which is more like an everyday thing to to keep attention to uh, you know this is a book that I kind of want to read again it was one of those books where I read it uh, I learned so much uh, but I think if I read it again I'll learn even more because uh, it's really important to focus on these things as a runner as an athlete you just there's a lot of things to think about. You don't want to just go out and train, 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 train. You also need to recover, recover, recover. Training and recovery is two different things, but they are really part of the same overall plan. You know, you need both. Uh, likewise, uh, injury prevention and working on that mobility, working on that, on those little things, you know, that's, that's also hugely important as an athlete. So this book sort of helped me learn and get put attention to some of those things. Here's what Alan Webb uh, has to say about it. He's the American record holder in the mile. He says, this is the best resource on running biomechanics and injury prevention. The corrective exercises have become part of my training routine, improved my performance and reduced my injuries. That's pretty good. So, if you're interested in checking it out, Please do so. I'll put a link in the description. It's going to be an affiliate link. We'll take you to Amazon and if you want to buy it, we'll get a little bit of a commission for sending you there. But the price actually remains the same uh, for you anyway. So it's a good way to support us uh, and you get yourself a good quality book as well where you can learn lots of good things about what I just said. <laughs> All right. I love books. I have uh, lots more cool books to review for you guys in the months and years to come and I'm constantly acquiring new books of course I have one coming in the mail in a few days I'm gonna start reading that and uh, yeah love it love it so let me know in the comments what books you're reading at the moment uh, if you read any if you read this book uh, please tell me all about what you think about it um, stay tuned for more videos of course if you haven't subscribed please do so click the link or click the button below where, where it says subscribe uh, so you can stay up to date with all my book reviews, gear reviews, and of course running vlogs and training talks and my progress towards, I don't know, ultra marathon greatness. Can I do that? I don't know. <laughs> At least my running progress. I love running. I love sharing it with you guys. Hope you're having a good day. See you around.